Shut up. Broke him quick. That's the man on The streets need us. That's why we back for another episode, Marcel. Yes, sir. Welcome back to Broken Play, man. Broken Play is the way. Is that the catchphrase we're going to run with? What you think? No, oh, no, that ain't hit. We're going to work on it. All right. <laughs> Broken Play back another day. I like that. <laughs> it's the same shit. <laughs> just a different tone. Speaking of tone, did Denver just set the tone last night? Woo. On Miami Heat. Miami was up. I thought they would win. And then Jimmy did his best impersonation. His best impersonation of a garbage bouncer. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna call Jimmy no garbage bouncer. Right, right. But motherfucker, you tried your best to be one right then. He stood under the goal. It like he was playing Twister. He stuck his foot one way. I said, no, Jimmy, not you. But before I could just call Jimmy a garbage bastard, that man, Kyle Lowry. <laughs> Bro, Kyle Lowry had some key moments. But when he was dribbling and Aaron Gordon was right there, I said, boy, please don't try to shoot over that nigga. <laughs> Aaron Gordon grabbed the ball, <laughs> palmed it down. And looked at that little bitty chubby nigga. I know how to feel. Because that doesn't happen to me before. I always been my height. Man, you in front of a nigga who's 16? What you thought was going to happen? Kyle Larry, I don't care what kind of game. And, and, bro, all us believe in a higher power. But sometimes you got to realize gravity. <laughs> Nigga, it's nothing you could have did. It's nothing you could have did. It's nothing. Let me read a couple comments. We got to get into the comments yes, first. Yep. Now, this comment is interesting. <laughs> What's Yvette's act? <laughs> Asking for every nigga in here. Nigga <laughs> in well. Before we, before we get into that, let's just talk about it's a, it's a room full of a uh, congregation of people watching the show. Because he said asking for every nigga in here. LOL. Yvette, can he get your at? It's Yvette Glasgow. I got a man, but I appreciate that. What? Oh. I know how men be. When you get home, you're going to be like, hey, hey, what the fuck you mean, but? Or. <laughs> what, what you mean, but? He's very secure. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. Oh, that, that comment came from Rakeem. I don't like this. This came from Grown Maine. Give it up, Nav. Y'all ain't never getting that 1942 and them damn wings in the VIP. Laughing my ass off. Great show. Man, first of, hey, first and foremost, hey, you right. <laughs> I don't know how you know, <laughs> but boy, you right. And you ain't got to worry about it hearing it this week. <laughs> We ain't saying it, but now nah, we might, because we got my boy, uh, you know what I mean? We got Frico. Frico, <laughs> Frico, Frico. in the field. And we might not know baseball, but he do. I know he know baseball. He drinking beer out of glass. Anytime <laughs> you see somebody pull up and drink beer out of glass, I know this show going up. He felt the need to bring his own beer. <laughs> I know, because we ain't have it. Real quick, man. If they don't know, he have some most some of the most creative artwork you ever seen on the internet. If you ever been seeing eighty five South stuff, and when they pop up and you see the fun the funny stuff, Rico, Rico, it's him. Yeah. You ain't bring us nothing this week. Hey man, hey, when I see envelopes like this, I'm thinking it's the budget. <laughs> oh look. Oh, this hard. <laughs> Zoom in. Look, Zion Williamson. Boy, you on booty talk 64, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, 
don't blame nobody. Man, Zion, you so freaky. <laughs> what would you do, though? Who? You, if you was in that situation. What I would... Which time? I'm talking about that would be my fifth. <laughs> nigga, if I got the meals, I'm I'm wild and not like him. <laughs> Let me see. I hope he don't go get a random thought pregnant after this. <laughs> Zion, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Zion look like he talks slow. I don't know. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you mean to tell me what? Yeah. No, I had to do it, bro. Oh look, you got oh man. We've been talking a lot about this man. I don't know if this better than the last one, but it's oh no, nah, this might be. Job be a menace. <laughs> Look how that's exactly how he was holding that. <laughs> Freako. Yeah. Boy, you killed this, bro. Nah, I'm just having fun, bro. Oh I get, man. I get a lot of backlash, so I ain't gonna lie, man. Oh, I know you do. I get woke black people getting mad at me because they make Oh, for sure. They're gonna do that. That when you just got that when you just got to make fun of them. Exactly. Oh, nigga, I got one for you too, nigga. Exactly. <laughs> they do that. Nah, oh man, appreciate you bringing that artwork, man. We got Freako in the building. Thanks for me, man, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This your boy Nav Green, man, host of Broken Play. And if you watch Broken Play, you're familiar with our sponsor, Prize Picks. All first-time users that deposit and use my promo code, which is Broken Play will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. So look, if you put up $100, they're going to give you $100. If you put up $53, they'll give you $53. Say you only got $38, they're going to match them $38. So prize picks will give you whatever you put up. Who you know doing that, man? Shout out to prize picks. With that being said, we know the NBA is over. But no, we don't stop. Prize picks will let you do NASCAR. Prize picks will let you do golf. Prize picks will let you do baseball. Last but not least, prize picks will let you even do the WNBA. Man, who you know let you do that, man? Player props, the entries. We love prize picks. Hey, if you know it, Brittany Griner, she back. Like Brittany Griner. I like Boston with Indiana. I'm, I'm on WNBA. And you know why? Because I know the locks. Man, make sure you get the locks so you can know the locks. When you deposit your money, get your account going, come holler at me, and I'm going to give you the locks. And we're going to win this money together. You know what the saying is. Burr, 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 broken players in the building. We got 1942. We got Fiji water. We got hot wings. Prize, prize picks for the win. Too Smooth said we got to get nav views up over 100K at least, and hopefully he'll reach a million one day well reserved. Let that breathe a minute. Let's let that soak in. You feel what I'm saying? We received that too smooth. Oh, man, this big. If y'all didn't know, I was uh, with my with the sensei the other uh, day. You know, we was on Breakfast Club. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody talking about what they doing. Guess what I mentioned? Mm. Broken play. <laughs> So Charlemagne posted one of our broken play clips. He did that off the stream. Mm. That's why I know we got some substance here. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody in the world rocking with it. De Niro Q4400. I know you in the streets. <laughs> I know you is. I don't know what you do. He said, I ain't know this was going on until I saw Charlemagne repost on IG. You gained another loyal viewer now. Mm, 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 mm. That's what we do it for, bro. This is the last comment I'll read. Somebody said something good about that. I'm not reading that one. <laughs> a Rudd said, Dumb look like a young Spike Lee. I got to read that one. I got to read that one. Because cause they see the vision. Uh, Eric Farr, he said something good about that. Uh, he ain't gonna say what he said. Huh? He ain't going to say what he said. Huh? The comments, the comments is for, you know, to get the people who comment, get them the recognition. It ain't about us. See, that selfish spirit right there. I see that. He ready to hear what somebody said. But no, bro. I see you about yourself. Real quick. So with Miami losing to Denver, do we see Miami getting back? Marcel. Back where? <laughs> to the finals.
There's been some rumors about Dame Lillard. Um, he would love to play with Bam. That's one of his favorite players to play with. So if they can get Dame over there, time out. I would love Dame going to Miami. I think that's a good fit for them, Dame Jimmy. But for Dame to say Bam is one of his favorite players, that's scary. Why? Out of all the people in the league, ain't no way Bam. It, man, Bam was having an excellent first half. Bam got tired in that second half. And guess who showed up? The best motherfucking player behind LeBron James I ever seen. <laughs> that damn Joker. Hey, make one for Joker. Hey. hey. <laughs> and that, hey. And look, he the best beer drinking basketball player I ever seen. <laughs> I'm not gonna disregard. He do drink beer and he smokes cigarettes. <laughs> but when I tell you. Joker, he played 42 minutes in foul trouble. And guess what he said? They said, Joker, are you ready for the Denver parade? He said, when is the parade? They said, it's Thursday. He said, I'm going to be at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I don't want, that's why I, I, I know he got what it take to rule the league. He don't want to party. He don't want to hang. He don't want to be with porn stars. He don't want to be having guns and TikTok videos. He just want to play basketball. And that's something you can't teach. Right. Dude, Joker even got an Instagram? No, I ain't never seen it. No. Exactly. That nigga probably don't got a phone. <laughs> Joker is one of them old school country beer drinking niggas. Yeah, he, yeah, nigga. I'm talking about the country part of Serbia. You didn't think he got shit? <laughs> that nigga in the rural area, he hunt deals, nigga. He got horses and everything. He want to go home and see his horses. Yeah. yeah. That nigga ready to get back to his horse. He was like, we're in the parade. Thursday. Nah, I got to get back to the hood, man. <laughs> Fuck this shit. For real. Chris Paul wasn't waived. Thanks. So he's still with Phoenix in a way. If nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is why I say this, Rico. Yeah. If people start saying that you were waived and released and you wasn't, nigga, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. You just don't know when, but be ready. Because they, hey, somebody talking. They were like, yeah, I might as well get CP3. Ain't, ain't still with y'all? Hell no. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people don't like him, man. What's the thing? Uh, people, some they people say him. he's a dirty player, man. I heard somebody call him say he's really annoying. He's a dirty That's player. He's a man. He a what? Dick punch. He do that? <laughs> Bro, if people classify you as a... <laughs> um, hey man, yeah, I'm going to say a, a, a ball puncher. No, he, he, do, he done that before. Yeah. More than once. That's a lot. I'm late on that, bro. Hey, who that, that slapped him? One that uh, your boy from New Orleans. My boy, Brandon Ingram. Then Brandon... Brandon Ingram punched him, I want to hug. No, Ray, oh, Ray John. Ray John. Ray John. Rondo. Him and Rondo. We need yeah, but Ingram... Rondo's him and Ingram got into it too. Yeah, Ingram, Ingram had their beard too. <laughs> Man, my only problem with Chris Paul is his hair, bro. The nigga got a hairline when he balling from the rest. Of the time. <laughs> like he got the hairline, but there's nothing on top. Yeah, that yeah. Doc, Doc Rivers. That my uncle like that. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle got a, got the straightest lineup for a sixty year old you'll ever see. But if you zoom past that, ain't nothing but landscape. Ain't nothing <laughs> but ain't nothing but a jet yeah. runway. It's a few little spots, but I like, oh, oh, keep that line up. I feel like CP3 would, uh, I was talking um, to some of my uh, partners the other day. CP3 would be a great fit for Boston. Hmm. I, I like that. It's, um, but I hold what up, do you do with Marcus Smart? Take them fucking shades off. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, what's going on? <laughs> but what's going on? I, I keep, I'm trying to look at my, not, nah, yeah, no, nah, nah, yeah. I'm, Look to see what he's saying, but you know you can't read nobody's emotion through some shade. Got... Yeah, Marcel got his shades on like we done got 1942 in the club. We haven't won shit. That man look like Larry June. Fan <laughs> <laughs> said you look like Larry June. Good job, good job, good job. <laughs> nah, you put him back on. Oh yeah, Freako, put yours back on. <laughs> <laughs> Rico look like he ain't been to sleep all year. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Chris uh, Paul's best chance to get a ring was with the Clippers, man. <laughs> Damn. 
through his career. Man, that nigga went back six years. He actually went to the finals to get a ring and was with the Suns. The Clippers didn't even go for him. Man, that went he back six hurt. years. That nigga done played with Houston since then and with the Phoenix. O- Oklahoma since then, too. Yeah, uh, but- that was some troublesome years. <laughs> they really didn't give a damn when they sent him to OKC. But nah, OKC. They made, he made he put to that team to the playoffs. That, like, that was... That was dope. He took who to, to the playoffs? Okay, he found it to the playoffs. Yeah, he did. He did. Who he was playing with? He was playing with Steve Adams. All them young boys, wasn't yeah, it? No, the young boys. Yeah, the young oh, guys. Yeah. But no, I feel like CP3 in Boston. What you think about that? I like it, but what are you going to do with Marcus Smart? Like, are you still starting him? Oh, he got to get the hell on. Damn. Um, I don't like it then. Why? Yeah, I'm not What'd give- you say, uh, dog? I got to keep Marcus Smart. Yeah, got to. Bro, if he who gonna under- call who gonna call Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum out? He the only nigga who ever be calling That's them out. That's true, but Marcus Smart gotta understand his role, nigga. You should not be putting up ten three pointers a game. You I shouldn't agree. be putting up ten shots a game. You are slashing and layup. When we looking for you to do jump shot, somebody ain't doing their job. I feel like CP three will set everybody up. If we could get Marcus Smart to play his position, he'll be good. Chris Paul would slow their momentum down. He's a slow pick and roll. Jalen Brown player. had eight turnovers the last. <laughs> you ain't gonna That's let that go. First and foremost, what they need to do is slow the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we moving too fast. <laughs> Let's slow this bitch down. He ain't gonna let that go. Yeah, them eight turnovers hurt my feelings. But will CP3 be willing to come off a bench? Off the bench, I don't. Nigga, it's either that or retire. Nigga, Who? ain't no more. You get to choose. You Who? feel me? I agree. You think Marcus Smart would start over him? Yes, he should. Let Dotnet speak, man. Hand Dotnet the mic. What you say, Dotnet? Uh, Marcus Smart can go because Marcus Smart value. I think he 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 getting older. It was a lot of athleticism, and like that's gonna be gone out the way. So. You see Marcus Smart on the Yeah, you the might as well get yeah, you so you might as well get Chris Paul because what his value bring, it don't need his athleticism. Mm. So it's a it's a fair you're gonna get gain something and lose something. But you can have another another Marcus Smart. You can get another Marcus Smart. Yeah, he a high energy guy. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't know you get another Marcus Smart. He's a defensive player of the year. You gotta put some respect on that man's name. The when first, was he the, the defensive player of the year? Last year. The first defensive player of the year since Gary Payton as a guard. Oh yeah, he was. I don't like it. Well, no, nah, Marcus Smart here. Yeah, I forgot we interviewed him. So, yeah. <laughs> Any nigga who fuck with the show, we gonna fuck with you. Until you don't fuck with us no more. So, yeah, keep Marcus Smart. Fuck CP3. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> unless you do the show, CP3. Yeah. we we'll love to have you. Love to have you. Oh, shit. We tearing shit up in this month. Speaking of tearing shit up, Floyd Mayweather versus John Gotti the third. <laughs> Me neither. Everybody, <laughs> yeah, Floyd, Floyd been keeping his fights to be related lately. <laughs> like, nigga, what are you doing your promotion at, nigga? <laughs> it was a Zeus Network yeah. fight. <laughs> hey, nigga hit me on the side. You watching the Floyd fight? Floyd like, who? Right. <laughs> nigga, no. Fuck that Floyd fight. Did you see the aftermath with the, with the, with the sister or something, something crazy? Yeah, I no. saw that. Nigga, fuck right. that. I'm talking about the Jocelyn Hernandez fight. That was the fight. That was that, at the Floyd fight? That was after the Floyd Jeez. fight in the back. Wildin'. Yeah. That fight was entertaining. I don't know about that Floyd fight. <laughs> I don't know who won with John got in Floyd, and I don't care. But the trash talking was at a high premium dollar. They disqualified it? They called it off. In what in, round? Eighth. Yeah. And why? Final round. The trash talking to talking. Which I don't make sense. Did y'all see the tweets? Can we uh, pull some tweets up? Yeah. Pull that last tweet up. He talked about the man, grandson, and all. Now he tripping because now NBA young boy finna get involved. (laughs) And that's the last nigga you want to fuck with, John Gotti the third. (laughs) NBA young boy ain't finna play with your ass. (laughs) Hey, that that nigga might walk to the ring. They done squared up. And that young boy just pulled that blicky out on his ass. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. One, two. <laughs> you got the tweet, bro? Uh, I got the tweet from um, the Gotti daughter. She said some wild shit. All right, read them. If you um, can read it. Hey, man, it's wild, bro. It's wild, bro. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, that's it why I said sick, read it. 
All right, cool. Floyd Mayweather, she added him. Your daughter was ran through by an animal with 12 different baby mamas. You little circus animal. You all a pack of zoo animals. I swear on my kids, I'm coming for your daughter. It may be two years, three years from now, but I'm coming, cunt. When last time you heard somebody being called a cunt? That sound, that sound like racism to me. Oh, it definitely is. And what's her name? Nicole. Nicolette. Fuck you, Nicolette. Nicolette. Oh, fuck you, Nicolette. Because <laughs> this was a, at the end of the day, man. What did the daughter do? She punched her in the face, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I ain't know, uh, I ain't know she was standing on business. Shout out to Yaya. <laughs> Yaya say, bitch, my dad ain't the only one who can fight, bitch. Allegedly. <laughs> it might be Godfather meets uh, uh, Hoodlum. God, Godfather meets uh, Snowfall. <laughs> this, this shit been a blend. <laughs> Creed of God. <laughs> Some I don't know it getting sent. Oh, Shakur, Shakur sends Devin a message. What did he send him? Sign a contract via bottles. Or, you know how the bottle signs that we're going to eventually win one day. We're going to get one day, but it said sign the contract. Mm. They were at the same party or something outside. We got the clip of that? We, we can pull it up. Yeah, yeah pull, put, put the clip in that. What you got to say, Don? I think Devin ducking him a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I ain't gonna say he ducking him, but I think I think he playing it smart. I mean, obviously fights is always a business move. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. hype up the fight. I don't think he wanna fight him though. No. I don't think he does. Why why you fight. say that though? He wanna keep on to them belts. I mean, mm. you know what I'm saying? He wanna hold on to them belts. Well, nobody wanna lose them belts. And Shakur, Shakur and Tank, you know what I'm saying? The biggest threat to him for him to lose them belts. Damn. So yeah, I don't, I don't think he, I don't, I don't think he rushing to fight Shakur, but he either, he got to fight him now because if he wait too long, it's yeah, it, it, it's gonna... I, I, he either got to fight him or he got a rematch with Loma. Yeah, I, don't know I think out rematch. of all the fights, ain't nothing more anticipated than that Crawford fight, Crawford and Spence, for sure, man, easily, for sure, easy next month. Shout out to Ticket Jerry. We might have to hit Ticket Jerry yeah. up. We might. Yeah, let's go ahead and nah, hit we, Jerry we up. Might, yeah, we might got to see what's up with that. Real quick, Frico. Yeah. You been following baseball. What's some? You on prize picks? Nah, I don't do that, man. I, I, I lost some, a lot of money a few years ago, bro. See, Frico, I usually try to, you know, get people, but how you drink beer and shit like that. <laughs> and, like, you know, when you see nigga, like, you might be battling some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it, you don't know Frico might have lost his whole family behind gambling. <laughs> hey, bro, I, got, I, got, hey, I got two kids and one on the way, bro. I, I can't do it right now. Oh, yeah, I feel yeah. But, no, prize picks are match whatever you put on there, and then when it run out, you can just stop. I'm hip, bro. I looked at it, and I was tempted. Cause I know baseball pretty well, especially following the Braves. But I was like, ah, I so to... so. Look, tell me this: what's what's something on the Braves? Like, who will play on the Braves? We should always look at on prize. Acuna, easy. Acuna. What to get on base or what? what? Ronnie, yeah, Ronnie get on base. Uh, Rosario gets on base and he gets softballs all the time. What's a, what's a pitcher that gonna have a lot of strikeouts? Strider, Mr. Strider, Mr. Strider uh, uh, Bryce Elder, number fifty-five. Yeah, they all. I mean, but you never know with baseball, man. Baseball, baseball will ruin you because they play so many games. You know, you never know what they ate for lunch. You know what I'm saying? They might have <laughs> something going on. The pitcher, like, I ain't gonna lie, you never know. Some sometimes they mess up. Spencer Strider, for real, about the Bruh, solid, most solid. We done had a lot of guests, yeah. but if some white boys watch this show, Freako, they'll get you. Hey. They'll have you on there because it's like they'll feel like, oh no, that's who we need. That's why. <laughs> We gonna sign the NDA. You can't do no other show but this one. The white boys, white boys, they got a lot of love, love for me, bro. They spend a lot. Of bro, you drunk? How you drink your beer out the glass? You yeah. got you got your weed eater glasses on. They gonna fuck with you. They not down to me, bro. They be wanting me to slap them and shit when I go to the game. They <laughs> really? Bro, you see me at Braves game. White boys be, you know, after the World Series, bro. Everybody, all the white folks love me, bro. So when you say they want you to slap them, like, what you mean? Man, for some reason, white boys get a kick out of getting slapped by somebody real strong, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that sound, that sound kinky. But it's a, hey. <laughs> I don't do it. I won't do it. Nah, nah but it's, it's out. In the face? Where they want you to slap them? They be like, hey, Frico, just slap the shit out of 
bother me, man. Good. <laughs> Come on, man. Where you be slapping them at? I don't slap them. Oh, I thought I, I thought I had you. I thought I had you. I said, get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> get my damn sons, man. My wife, get the fuck out. Oh of yeah, here. cause they they trying they trying to get you. As soon as you slap them, they gonna be like, yeah, Frico, me and my oh, wife, me and my, I want you to come slap my wife next. <laughs> <laughs> Slap her ass and do some other things. Got the bedroom ready for you. Nah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, real nah, talk. Nah, baseball, that's what happens, bro. Like, they see black men into it, bro. They like, oh, you're a good nigga. And you know, that's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what they do, bro. Mark, I'm on. still, you know, I'm still me, man. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I learned baseball because I grew up with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? You ever played? I played, I played all the way up until high school. I went to Arena and High, bro, and they a powerhouse. I never could make the team. So I played, I just played. Man, you look like you would have been a, you know, a good first baseman. Yeah. The first baseman I always be. You ain't got to do no work over there in first baseman. <laughs> I played play catcher through the park ball system and shit. I played catcher for years. At Reed Ann? No, I was at uh, Prince of Pass. Oh, okay. Way Walker, let's go. Yeah. 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 Over there just because it was, it, was, it was closer to me than Reed Ann Park. So hey, one thing about it, like, as a first baseman, because people don't realize baseball is fun when you playing for recreation. You playing to win, oh, that's when baseball gets serious. When I was in park, you know, they if they trying to get somebody out, they throw that motherfucker, hey, bro, slow that motherfucker down. <laughs> yeah. You ain't ready. You, it's gonna show. Nigga, run you over at first base, too. Right. Yeah, you know, ain't no need Back to. Back in days, bro, we played in the 90s and shit, bro. Baseball was king, bro. I, I can speak for the east side, you know what Yeah, that, that's the first sport you can play as a kid, so like. Oh, yeah, 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 facts. Yeah, yeah, no, we didn't do that. Yeah, it's different. I got, I got my kids playing T ball and coach pitch right now. Well, they just finished up. But like, man, before we move to the next segment, Freak Man, what, what you what you can add to the room, man? We need one of them, them big. I got you, man. Like, yeah. Nah, you know, man, shit, I, I, done, I done did a shirt for 85 times, man. Like, yeah, we, we just need something on the wall, man, to show, you know what I'm saying? Freak was here. I, I do something like that. Say less. Easy. Man, when we got them come back, man, appreciate everybody tuning in to Broken Play. That's first and foremost. And uh, uh, when we come back, we got some highlights and we got some lowlights. Until then, keep tuning in to Broken Play. <laughs> We still got Freako with us, man. We got one of the funniest comedians, not not just you know what I mean in the world, probably all the time. If you asking me, hey, man. in my opinion, Malice, <laughs> fuck they talking about the. We got comedian <laughs> Kelly K Dub in the building, yeah. man. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Show love. Show some love. <laughs> he got his Hawks hat on. You a Hawks fan? I'm a Hawks fan. I'm a Hawks fan. Bulls fan too. Just black and red. <laughs> I'm a Blazers fan too. Black and red. <laughs> Give me some black and red. <laughs> Real vice lord. Old school vice lord. <laughs> Still a vice lord. So this ain't got shit to do with the players. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, it ain't the players, man. It's, just, it's, the, it's the color. Michael Jordan had me. It's the color of the team, though. He was rooting for the Heat. Yeah, I like the Heat, too. I like the Heat, that black and red. That's hey. maroon, though. Man, K-Dub, you from Memphis. You spent a lot of time in Memphis before you came to Atlanta. Uh, what you think about John Morant? Man, shit, I don't, man, I ain't, I tri I, I think they blowed it all out. The John Morant situation, I think they just need some news, man. Because, man, them niggas in the 80s, man, they, Charles Oakley was playing with a pistol on him. So, <laughs> hell, man. Come on, man, a pistol on the TV. A pistol on the TV ain't never scared nobody, man. How could you suspend a nigga for having a pistol on TV? That, so, hey, well, he on Instagram Live, though. But that's TV, man. You can't be spending no nigga for no TV shit, man. Niggas got, man, I don't know. They don't even know if the gun was real, man. They said it was a water gun. Who knows? John Moran, I don't know, man. Shit, man. All right. That <laughs> John Moran. So, mm. look, Rico, duh. What y'all think about Zion Williamson and the porn star? Man, I, as ugly as Zion is, I'm happy he gets <laughs> As ugly as Zion Yo. is, bro. No, I'm telling you, he's an ugly fella, man. I, I don't even judge. I do judge, dude. Why am I stop lying? That nigga ugly regardless of what I do. <laughs> He, yeah. Be happy that nigga fucking a bitch like that. I don't give a I mean, fuck what he do, man. His head don't fit his body. Bro. Hell no. <laughs> like, that nigga head look like it should be on a six foot nigga, bro. Out of all the pictures, <laughs> why they keep showing that picture of him in that ugly ass outfit, though? When he oh, with the turtle neck? Mm -hmm. yeah, outfit the ugly. Neck. He ugly. <laughs> that nigga look like a dick, bro. <laughs> that shit look weird as hell, bro. I, I mean, know. I Let think the that. Man fuck, man. I think, I think that shit was all scripted, to tell you the truth. 
Because he had to have a fall. He was damn near too perfect as far as character wise. I think that should be scripted sometimes. No, he wasn't perfect. He was ugly as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking about like his off the court shit. Oh, you know okay, what I mean? Cool. Like he was like a kind of golden boy, you know? He had to have something wrong with Put him. Bag on it wasn't drugs, it wasn't guns, but it was buns, bro. So. Goddamn. Hey, uh, all things, bro. I'm glad Backpage went around when that nigga Zion Williams got in the league. <laughs> oh, he Zion Williams, he the type, he, nigga done ran the train, he was like, man, let me see what it tastes like. Nigga, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> nigga, go in there, Zion. you see that nigga eating the pussy. Like, nigga, you tripping, Zion. Zion. The last one. Zion want to go last one. Yeah, he want to go last one. Get this, y'all going to get him. You, you going to get him <laughs> out. Damn, bro. Go ahead, get him out. I'm the being this bitch out. I'm the headliner. I'm the headliner. God damn. <laughs> you peeking at that nigga doing the 69. <laughs> I think that really made it worse is all her tweets, all, all the porn stars' tweets Man, and crazy. shit. She's still tweeting right now. She is, What's she saying? She's still going. What? Marcel, read, read a few of her last tweets. Let's see what she's saying. And this part of the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no more basketball to talk about because damn Joker. Yeah. Dub, you think Joker the toughest white boy you ever seen play? No, not at all. Who is? I think he got a good team around him. Probably the toughest white boy uh, got to be the Bill Lambert. You got uh, 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 the way of... Uh, oh, when he played with Bill the Pistons, he used to knock the nigga on his ass. Bad boys. Uh, who else? Toughest white boys. Hey, I think Larry Bird was overrated. No, nah, Larry Bird went overrated. He played in the 80s. Ain't no way. He played in the 80s. Them niggas was snorting powder, bro, with the referee. <laughs> Them niggas was tough back then. Every nigga in the 80s. You said the referee was snorting powder? Yeah, bro. Every nigga in the 80s that played had a rape charge, some type of way. I'm trying to tell you, bro. If it was statutory rape, some type of rape, they had a rape charge. You can't beat them niggas in the 80s, bro. I'm telling you. Well, I think they just probably was scared to talk shit to Larry Bird, though. That's what you think, bro. Larry Bird did snuff too bad. I had bumps in his face. He didn't want to look like he had AIDS. Not magic. I'm trying to tell you. That's why they, he was a bad hey. motherfucker, man. Larry Bird was a bad motherfucker, man. Magic didn't Bruh, it was this Larry shit might be selfish, bro. You said who? This shit might, it might sound selfish, nigga. You probably just here for me today. I need these laughs. <laughs> Legend, bro. That hey, nigga no, said Larry Bird the one look like he had AIDS. He had the HIV. They just made Magic say he had it. It was, <laughs> it, was, it was Bird, my nigga. I'm telling you. The five stages of grief with um. Uh, first stage is denial. You sound stupid. It was literally my man, and I never once looked for clout from anyone I never posted when I was when I was in NOLA. I was loyal to you, Zion. She's adding him on every tweet. And you got thoughts preggers. Before uh. you keep reading, Zion look like he can't read. Bitch, he don't. Bitch, <laughs> voice record him that shit. I think Zion, I read this to me. And the niggas around Zion, they going to word it. Nah, she just saying you're a great player. Okay. He's still loving him. He still got love for him. Facts. I mean, he said the delete. He said, he like, can you delete the tweets and we'll talk about this? Like, that's what he. Yeah, because he can't read them. And she leaked. <laughs> he said, can you delete that shit? Just talk. Just talk to me. <laughs> Bitch, I can't read all that shit. I'm talking about grief. Hell to the no, Zion. Uh, shit. Who we play for now anyway? Uh, the Pelicans in New Orleans. Uh -huh. That's why. I, yeah. He been chilling. He been fucking. <laughs> What's the second one she tweeted? The second stage of grief, anger. I hate you on my life, Zion Williamson. Looks like you been had a girlfriend and sleeping with other women behind my back. Zion, you're a liar. Time out. And I'm not speaking for every man. In the, in the, if I make it to be making $200 million, nigga, I can make 200000 I feel like I'm supposed to fuck any bitch I want. So if Zion, if you want to do that, live your life. That nigga from South Carolina. What I look like being faithful to a porn That's star. That's what I said. Ugly nigga from South Carolina. You better get it in while you can. <laughs> Ain't no way in the hell I let this shit drop. Because niggas, soon Ain't as no you can't dunk no more. If I was that ugly from South Carolina, there'd be more news than this, man. I swear <laughs> to I, I'd have been a fuck precious. What kind of shit you would be doing, though? I'd have been a pr fuck precious Viola Davis. <laughs> God damn, Octavia bro. Spencer. I'd have fucked all the ugly women. Michelle Obama, Simone Biles. All the ugly women would have got fucked. Harriet Tubman. I'd have tore all the ugly women up. All the ugly women. I ever heard Neil Carter, I'd have bumped up, <laughs> I'd have bumped up motherfucking ass. <laughs> what that woman ain't on good time? The mama, the ugly ass. Florida Oh, I'd have told, I'd have flow, I'd have fucked Florida to Georgia. <laughs> 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 ugly nigga in South Carolina, get it in, man. You got a mission out here, bro. 
Cause ain't hey. nobody gonna volunteer to fuck no ugly nigga from South Carolina. Hey. I ain't seen it before. <laughs> we ain't gotta life. read no more. <laughs> <laughs> Every ugly woman. <laughs> hey. Damn, I can't. Fuck. I <laughs> said Harriet Tubman, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. you know John from South Carolina too, dog. Who that? John Morant. John Morant. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, but that's why I said the ugly nigga. Ja, I ain't gonna judge. He ain't the ugliest nigga. Zion is down. He's he's definitely top fifteen. Top, top fifteen ugliest nigga in the league mm-hmm. ever. You got Flay. You got him up there with uh Popeye <laughs> Jump. <laughs> no, I'm talking about just in the NBA. You remember Tyrone Hill? Tyrone Hill. Yeah. Popeye Jones, Popeye Sam Cassell. Jones. Who else you put in there? Let me see. Uh, uh, Who you got, Dom? Uh, what's the boy name? Damn, up Tony there. Snell. Tony Snell. Oh, Tony Snell. Tony was Snell was probably one of the ugliest NBA players. Darius Miles was kind of ugly too, but he just got back because he hung out with Bron. But he was, <laughs> he was a few ugly ones. Let me see. Jonathan Bender. He came out of Pick a Ewing in about '99. <laughs> he had a little terrible little head on him. <laughs> little head soldier. <laughs> <laughs> ugliest players, man. That's it. I can call Mookie him. Mookie Blaylock. Mookie Blaylock. I don't know. He locked up now. They got him about 30 oh, years. Oh, for what? I think something like the same thing I was talking about earlier. Something with some, some with a gal or something. <laughs> something with an old gal or something. He locked up though, about 30. Ugly. Got a long head, man. He looked kind of <laughs> like future. Yeah, he went braids. He went yeah, braids. Scotty Pippen. I remember. Scotty Elaine. We gotta put him on another list. He oh, got yeah. a separate hey, list. How you, how, how you feel about Scotty Pippen with the Michael Jordan? He said LeBron James is way better than Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan went nothing until he got there and all that. I, I kind of agree with that. I mean, not that Michael Jordan ain't the greatest, but he wasn't doing nothing until Scotty got there. Yeah. I agree with that. Do you got you do you that's think not, that, you think they got something to do with the son though, him him his old lady? I don't know. I, I <laughs> I don't know, man. I, didn't, I don't know. The last year he was like, I love Mike. Mike <laughs> is the best player. Then his son started, uh, Mike's son started hitting his uh, ex-wife. Then he like, hey, Mike ain't shit. He switched quick. This is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Nav Green. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. So put yourself first. When we spend all our time giving, it can leave us feeling stressed, thin, and burnt out. Sometimes you just gotta have something for yourself. You gotta replenish what you put out. With that being said, BetterHelp has the therapy and it can give you time and the tools to find the balance in your life. So you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule. So it's no excuses. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapy. And you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85 sports today to get 10% off your first month. That's better help. H E L P. And if you can't spell help, you got bigger problems. Betterhelp.com slash 85 sports. Probably about Scotty got drafted. It was 87? 87 or something like that. Yeah. Michael had his best year of his career, 87, 88. So Scotty's rookie year. No, I'm Scotty, you, was, Scotty was a lockdown defender. But what I know now, how, how old are you? 34. See, I'm going to tell you, I ain't just acting like I'm older you, but the eight years I got on you, I can remember Jordan playing, and I can remember him not being that good. I can remember Paxton and Scotty doing their thing. Now, whatever they show you in the highlights is cool, but I can remember watching, and I, I remember the hype, but I just never saw what it. What is not real. good? What do you <laughs> consider not good? He played, but he didn't start the kicking ass to them after that 96, 97. That when he was perfect, though. That 91, 92 was a struggle. I guess it was whatever it was. That 94, 87, that, 88, he had a scoring title. He won defensive player of the year. I believe you. We ain't talking MVP. statistics. We talking about just looking at the TV. That's why I went okay. to that. Oh, uh, Russell Westbrook got MVP. Don't, don't disrespect Michael Jordan's best. No, best. I, ain't, I ain't do that. I, all I'm saying is, if you were looking at the TV, it didn't look like Steph Curry. He ain't look like no Steph. Steph Curry looked way better than Michael Jordan ever looked for me watching. I was born I 81. Why, yeah, yeah. I don't remember watching. I'm just saying he looked better. He may not be better, but he damn sure looked better. And LeBron do too look better. No, I'm talking about from if you watch the game. If you, from if real you, time, if you take yourself it. back to 1987 and watch those games and then watch these games, 
them boys look better. Jordan got Jordan is good. Jordan the greatest. But the game different too now. The game different too now. Jordan the greatest definitely. to me. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Shit, he was the first nigga flying in the air for yeah, a long yeah. time. Dr. J. Dr. J was the first nigga flying in the air, man. We yeah, do that. Man. Mike took that shit up a notch. Huh? Clyde, 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 Clyde they the, called that nigga Clyde the Glide. Dr. Neat, was the first one. Dominique they, they was they flying. Couldn't dunk, they couldn't dunk then. Those guys wasn't around. It was, you couldn't even dunk. It was illegal to dunk in the NBA. Dr. J was one of them first ones when they let dunk. He came out of the ABA. They stole the ABA and put it together because them ABA players were dunking. The NBA wasn't. So when they brought Dr. J over to add the highlights to that shit, them dunks, that's what sell it. That's why they're trying to bring the, ring, the rim down in the WNBA so they can dunk, get some excitement to this bullshit. <laughs> no disrespect. Yeah, we want to see some more yeah. dunks. I want a woman to dunk on the goal. I want a woman to push dunk in a and bitch put a bitch in the bitch face. <laughs> yeah. That's going to speed it up. It's like, that's going to speed that shit yeah. up. God now, damn, they, damn. If women watching, they, they be watching them niggas shake on the rim, nuts all, juice all on a nigga forehead. <laughs> put that pussy juice on that bitch head, yeah, babe. Uh, and leave it there. Don't move. She Don't stay move. There, you, stay there, you see a bitch that walk off to the side like this. No, stay there. And that bitch squirted on that shit. Stand underneath that smell it pussy for about three seconds for the camera. Sell this shit. We don't sell this. Don't get so many views. That nigga Zion Williams. Zion Williams is gonna start playing in WNBA. <laughs> Jawana man. That nigga just gonna stand on the goal. <laughs> hey, that's a movie plot. <laughs> hey man. Real quick, we gotta talk about the uh championship game. Give me, give me some moments that you that you knew that Denver, like Miami, just didn't have a chance. What you think, though? You thought they ever had a chance? I felt like they could have won the last game that they got closed out on. I think from the moment the Heat beat the Celtics, the Nuggets was the champions. <laughs> Damn. Well, I do before him when the Doug, when the Nuggets beat King James, I knew they were gonna win it. Yeah, for sure. Ain't nobody better than King James in the NBA to me. I don't give a fuck how old he is. So when they beat them, I said they took the hardest thing. They gone. If LeBron then would have beat them, same thing. Yeah, the championship yeah. was over there. For sure, I in agree. the West. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Well, whoever came out, well, I think Boston would have gave Denver a better <clears throat> matchup. Uh, Boston could have got two games. Yeah, maybe. I, I, maybe. I agree. But it's hard to play in Denver, bro. I don't think. I'm going to tell you who I think should have been there against Denver. Milwaukee, period. For sure. Oh, they were hurt. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. Man, I just feel like how Joker play, it's going to be hard to ever beat that nigga, like, fan square. It's like you're going to have to get that mentality like, hey, bro, when you go out there, just bow that nigga. Yeah, you got to hit that man, Yeah, Hey, bro. you got to hit him. He got he, a squad, though. He bro, got he weapons. 40, like. it's, I know he got a squad, but he's playing 42 minutes. Boy, big bam, they talking about bam tired. Bitch, he's supposed to be. That I'm a nigga huge, who smoked bro. black and miles on the off season. Mm, Bitch, what? I don't train like him. The nigga Joker run with his horses. <laughs> <laughs> they train that nigga like he a horse. <laughs> yeah. they but gonna, you can't do shit with that. They gonna, they gonna put old Rodman or something on him. They gonna find a little. They gonna yeah, find somebody. Somebody play. gonna match him next year. Somebody, oh, Dennis Rodman. We left him off the uh, 15 <laughs> ugly player. <laughs> Rodman look funny, man. I met, I met Dennis Rodman last year and hung out with him, bro. That shit was... How was that? We needed Dennis hey, Rodman. Hey, bro, he, he extremely aggressive in person. That nigga, that nigga hit me in the back, in my back. He, he took a liking to me, not like that, but just saying, you know. Uh, <laughs> nah, I, was hey. drink, I was drinking with him. Yeah, I, just slow down. Cause was first you said you were drinking with the nigga, he hit you that from nigga, the back. That nigga hand, bro, that nigga hand hit me in the back. Said, I like you, that shit. That shit. Like, so I he hit you from the back or hit you in your no, back? No, nigga, he hit me in the back with oh, his hand, Oh, nigga, bro. you was scamming, me, nigga. No, no, no. Hey, bro. I know you been drinking your beer. I said, that the nah, truth coming bro. out. <laughs> no, no. That, 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 you know how you get them nigga a little liquor, they start telling on themselves. I'm always drinking. That fool, that fool is who you think. Where y'all were hanging out at? Freak at, at Versus. Shouts out to Versus ATL. It's a little clothing shop down there on uh, Nelson Street. Yeah, he came. He came through there for like just to just to buy some clothes and shit. And I I, I do artwork and shit. There's the murals in there, so I was just hanging out. He, he came and hung out. He brought like y'all thought... hanging out in the clothing store. And he Bruh. did the slap in your back. <laughs> yeah, bro. He, hey, shouts out to my boy Leo. He came shout in there. Let me tell you, he supposed to come in there and just shop. He came in there and brought like mimosas and shit. He, he set up on a like he made a bar out of that counter, and we just started drinking, bro. We was in there hanging out, but that fool was there for like two hours talking shit. How much he spent on his clothes? Not much. 
Not much. <laughs> I was gonna say that nigga not don't much. look like he don't drop. He a bought. Bag he bought like his crew more shit than you know. But like, I mean, he ain't bought no shoes. I don't think they had a size technically. But oh he, yeah, that nigga they, he a well flip. We flop. get they gifted him a lot of like shit, like Rodman shit. You know, Rodman toys and like they had like shirts with him on. Dennis all. Rodman is who these niggas. Now Dennis Rodman, whatever we done said about that nigga, he fucked some hoes. <laughs> yeah, that nigga hit I mean, Madonna. His, yeah, but he but, but he got a steady Madonna, his steady man. thing was that old. <laughs> I his, fuck Madonna, man. Yeah, his girl was there. Man, fuck no Madonna. Man, his girl. Hey, Robin fucked Carmen Electra, too. Yeah, he had something like that there. His girlfriend was there. Oh, she really? was like an older looking. And his son in the NBA? And his son? His son, like, his son, son at USC. USC. Oh. oh he don't son? look like him, though. His daughter played the USA soccer team, too. She nice. Too. Hmm. But they don't look like They don't look nothing they don't like, like him. him. They don't fuck with him. Thank God. They don't fuck with him? No. Why? He wasn't in their lives. Nigga. Do you see what y'all dad was doing? You don't want him in your life. Like, like shit. Man. I hung hey. up with that man for two hours, bro. I don't want to hang out with him again, bro. <laughs> I would brag on my dad still. I was like, shit, my dad used to live a life. I would understand. I bet he could send no money, though, didn't he? Yeah, he's pretty sure he did. Hell yeah. You got the so, yeah. Story. It ain't going to never be shit. All right, before we get out of here, do we see Denver Nuggets repeat? Yeah. Nah, Everybody say yeah? Joking. Who, who you got, though? Yeah, bro. I think LeBron gonna beat him. LeBron gonna find a way to get a LeBron nigga on that gonna team. Gonna beat him. LeBron gonna. LeBron they been gonna count LeBron out since day one. I think LeBron gonna beat him and go on. LeBron know time. how to beat nigga. You gonna see Joker, and then you gonna see LeBron have a nigga Jokers. That nigga like he gonna get AD, a nigga. AD ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do AD. Yeah, I ain't never, talking about AD. Bro, just got swept. He gonna yeah. Hey, that, they got cool. swept. Not LeBron. LeBron did his mother. LeBron got swept. Nah, Who it's get, LeBron and the Lakers, <laughs> nigga. God damn, <laughs> bro. Didn't, didn't Jordan get swept? Yes, he did. Man, yes, the fuck he yes, did. Wait, wait, wait. He got, when they had uh, the, the series of five, he never got swept in the seven game. That's he worse. Got swept. But he got swept. Yeah. Nigga, in five games, you get game plan, nigga. You ain't even tired. It's different, too, though. LeBron bro. already was thinking when they were down 3 0, he was like, shit, we got to get the game seven. See, he think like that. These other niggas don't think like that. LeBron never feel like he out of the shit. But we come back, we 3-0. That's what they were talking about Kevin Love last night. They were like, Kevin Love was the only person to come back from... Kevin Love ain't do shit. Yeah. <laughs> LeBron did that, nigga. <laughs> they always want to give a white boy some damn credit. That white boy ain't did shit. <laughs> I put Kevin Love right with Larry Bird, overrated ass. Larry Bird. Bird's not overrated. He's not overrated, man. Can't His nickname's that, Larry Legend, bro. Like, bro, he was if him. you, all right, Dub, you telling me if Larry Bird played today, he'll still be as dominant as he was with that Celtics team. He ain't gonna be the play today. Why? Because he's 60 years old. Shit, he ain't gonna be the nigga, play today. Nigga, I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about. If he was if, young. If he, <laughs> bro, I'm telling you what I think. I think he played with the tougher niggas, man. It was I think tough, they were bro. tougher, man. They Cocaine were, is a one hell of a drug. They were harder, man. They were getting, bro. They hey, when, all right, before we get, what you think if they fired Larry, what they were saying? What you mean? Like, if you if you checking Larry Bird back in the 80s, what you would say? Because they say he talked shit. As a player, what you think no black players were saying when they checked Larry? I can't imagine, man. I ain't played no basketball, so I don't talk crazy in basketball, so. Right. You know me, I'm a roaster. I just be roasting. That's it. I, yo, yo, I'm thinking, I'm thinking they want to take that cracker. Uh, I, don't know if they, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they went that. Good how they talk to now, you jive turkey cracker. Spencer Haywood probably did that. Goddamn. <laughs> oh, speaking of winter time, when we come back, we got uh, we got a special guest, uh, Dub, on stay with us. We appreciate you coming through, Freako. Hey, Anytime. Hey, show Dub this picture you made of Zion oh, Williams. Yeah, bro. Appreciate y'all having me, bro. Made a Zion Williamson. Nigga, you drew an uglier picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> I made him ugly, bro. I made, but I gave him that little small ass head. Mm hmm. <laughs> that head and the neck the same size like the Keo Spike. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, show him the jaw one, though. Oh, show him the jaw one. Bro, y'all crazy. Let that man have fun, man. I right, will be back on Broken Play, y'all. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> Just like that, we're back, broken play. Hey, man, um, this is crazy. 
Before I get into <laughs> the prize picks of the week and how we did, we only had one person <laughs> to be successful. And it's crazy to say. It was that. You see him messing around with the papers, like folks like doing doing work over there. Man, y'all let we we gotta clap it up with that, man. That was the only one. That had bam free throws over three and a half. And he called it. He had a great explanation why he took that. That how you feel being the only one to man, be right. To keep it honest with you, a lot of people that's fans of you have been finding me. And they've been saying negative things about my picks. Somebody added me on Twitter and was like, y'all need to stop letting Thad pick. Damn. So um, this is for whoever said that. I forgot his name, but. Oh, yeah. that's when you took that personal. Yeah, I took that one personal because I'm not a loser, man. I'm not. <laughs> With a losing record. But you Speaking don't... <laughs> of loser. Oh, yeah. We got to go straight to Marcel. Is this seven weeks straight? Or no, it ain't been that many. Yeah. It's well, five weeks straight for real, though. Yeah, I started out 3-0, yeah. Damn. And, and you ended cool. three... Hold up, so before we get to you, Thad, you end your record as 3-5. and five. As of now, we got two more picks. For what? This week and next week. Yeah. What the fuck we finna bet on? We got I mean, WNBA, what, 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 MLB, <laughs> NHL. Oh, right, yeah, we can do WNBA. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> w, I'd rather do WNBA over uh, baseball. That's though. what I'm doing. I'm doing okay, bet. I'm doing baseball. So, okay, Thad, 3-5 and five right now. Yeah. Marcel is 3-5, and five, five straight losses. Marcel, if you don't mind standing up, this this <laughs> this what niggas gonna start wearing when niggas keep fucking up and we can't get 1942. Burr, 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 burr. We got wings in this motherfucker. We got the broken. You gotta spin while I'm talking. We got broken play in the building. 1942 on the way. We got Fiji bottles. Sit sit down, you garbage bastard. That is the garbage bastard pick of the week. If you a new rule is if you if you on a three week losing streak, you gotta wear the garbage bastard. You will be selected to wear the garbage bastard. Hey, nah, talk about Dom Pick though, the Michael Porter Jr. <laughs> hold on, bro, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> God damn. damn. Can we finish with yeah, what? Marcel? <laughs> Marcel okay. had Vincent over thirteen and a half points. That nigga had seven. He had a horrible series, man. Yes, very horrible. He let that shit get to him. We were just talking about the nigga going out the D League saying, no, nigga, I belong in the right. end. Send his ass right back. <laughs> nigga, you are who we thought you were. <laughs> Dom is also three and five. Now, this is tough. Dom had Michael Porter Jr. First and foremost, y'all remember, Dom is the one who told us. <laughs> and you know, he put us on game. Dom know his shit. Dom said they was comparing Michael Porter Jr. to Kevin Durant when he was coming out of elementary. <laughs> I seen a lot of niggas in the comments too supporting me, you know what I'm saying, backing me up. I appreciate y'all. I'm I know, in high school, my bad. I know I'm what I be school. talking about. I know All what right. I be talking about. So Don was so confident in Michael Porter Jr., <laughs> he took him over for the 23 and a half for points, rebounds, and assists. 23 and a half. That's all he got to do. Points, rebounds, and assists. Michael Porter Jr., they compare you to Kevin Durant. Nigga, do it. Yeah. The nigga had two points. Zero assists and seven rebounds. That's nine. <laughs> and then, like, he, you was real confident when you picked it because you was like, you going to the club by yourself. I ain't never even thought we could do that. Ah! Ooh, no, it's bad. coming in hot today. That nigga oh, saying that thing. Yeah, hold on, bro. In the, in First last... of all, that might not be on next week. <laughs> <laughs> I do make those decisions, so I might not have him on next week. <laughs> that, that nigga ain't say no shit like that, did it? Yeah, he? What, I, what really happened was, I'm not gonna lie, I was just betting out of frustration and anger, you know what I'm saying? Because I felt tried. When I feel tried, I gotta respond, you know what I'm saying? So I really, I would, it was just an impulse bet. I ain't never really believed in Michael Porter Jr., to be honest. Because <laughs> of those Kevin Durant claims, I hey, am a Kevin Durant fan. But I tell you this, Dom, the closeout game, he went crazy. Ironically. That's the game. Ironically. So, we got y'all out of the way. Now, me. I was confident in this. I said Joker would have over three three-point attempts. He had two. It was close. But, bro, he just went in that, I don't know. That shit hurt. Because I'm watching, and I said... Dad texted me. He said, my shit already hit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I turned my phone off. I said, if Thad bragging like this. He does it all the time, bro. No, I'm I not. 
Yo, he does what all the time? He be so. messages like, yo, how, how's your how your friend, your, your drunk hit yet? Nigga, I'm like, bro, you know my shit didn't hit, bro. Yeah, yeah you I, just I, been on a losing streak. Nah, Marcel, I don't think you trying no more. Yeah, not, I keep track of it. It's not. I'm not bragging. I just got to keep track of what's going on. Got you, got you. Got you. All right. So look, like you said, Yvette, she uh, followed Marcel. I apologize, Yvette. This is the second time, ain't it? Yvette, oh, one Greg thing about you, you one in five. And hey. the reason got you won, you called your boyfriend. You haven't called him since. So. Marco, three and four, he <laughs> followed me. <laughs> Once the Lakers start playing. Greg, you one and three. You didn't pick last week. Where you was at? Oh, niggas. He, he was working. You know, he, working, he, you know. he work come first for him. Oh. <laughs> Gotta see what the fuck you be doing, Greg. <laughs> what work needed to be done outside? You, you selling weed on the clock, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> Great handling his own shit, man. Let me slur in it 3-5. Nigga, fuck that. Talking all that sports shit. No, nah, I'm about to get hot, though. I gotta, I gotta get all right. Me. So we're going to do WNBA. I'm going to pop mine off. I like Aaliyah Boston. Mm, she That's nice. a good one. That's she a nice. good one. 13 and a half points. I got her with the over. Who next? I'm, I'm you can do me. baseball or WNBA. I'm going to take Brittany Griner points over. 22. You don't think that's too high? Nah, she had 29. She had 29 in the last game. <laughs> he didn't get hit again. <laughs> Over his head. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm having some uh some some technical difficulties. I'm gonna need to see a a list from somebody. Oh. Pick from. While we waiting on Don, what you got, Marcel? Um, I'm gonna go baseball. I don't even know how to pronounce this dude's name. Um, I know he gonna hit. When you can't pronounce their name, them niggas good as a motherfucker. Shea Langar- Langarius. Oh yeah, count it. Oakland A's. Um, point five bases. So he just got he just got to get a hit and get on first base. So can that be a walk as well? No. It gotta be a okay. It gotta okay. be a hit. Bet. It's Shea Langarius. Oakland A. Greg, you see some? You with us this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm you got? Gonna, um, I'm gonna go with Ronald Acuna over one and a half bases. Okay. He said that with his chest too. You heard that? I'm okay. Yvette, you, you got something this week? You know, do you watch now. WNBA? No, but I want to get into it. Yeah, you should. I feel like I should too. Is your boyfriend on Prize Picks? He is on Prize Picks. Did he use the uh, code? Or he been yeah, on that? Yeah, he already had it. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably just gonna piggyback off somebody. I don't know. Go with Marcel, please. <laughs> don't bring your bad luck ass over here. I'm not bad luck. Shout out to Prize Picks anyway. <laughs> Where we put the hats at? I'm we got some Nav. hats. I'm going with Nav this okay. week. Oh, y'all see the hats on the mannequin? Shout out to Prize Picks. You heard me? You going with me? Yep. All right, bet. We locked in. We got Boston. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go. Courtney Vandersloot for New York Liberty. I'm going to take her points, rebounds, and assists under 25. Mm. Mm. I like Actually, that. I'm going with Dom. Sorry. Yeah, that's Yo. Cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's how women do. That's, I, that, I'm glad that happened like that. That's a message. Well, you niggas, that's why y'all be crashing out so quick. You, you, see, you see when she said she was going with me, I was cool on it. Because you got to be confident in yourself because look how quick she switched to Dom. <laughs> What if I because thought I just had somebody WNBA. rolling with me? It's not about anything else. It's just about the WNBA. So I did a WNBA pick. You did? See, that's the... <laughs> hey, bro, I'm telling you. I'm tapped out. You ain't, always gonna, the best car. You ain't always gonna have the best car. You ain't gonna always have the best clothes. You gotta get right within yourself, fellas. You see what these women are do. I went with Dumb because he had a WNBA pick. I'd had one, too. But uh, he uh, never liked that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad there ain't no Zion Williamson ass nigga. <laughs> With that being said, we do got a special guest, man. If you're a fan of Poor Minds, we had Lex P last week. And Le- man, that was one of our best episodes. Lex P that and was Mike our Bless. Best episode, she knew her Lex P surprised me. So, you know, Lex P got word to Dre and Nicole, like, man, I had fun on Broken Play. And women like to see other women on the show. Yeah, they like Yvette, but they want to see other women, too, because it's just one. It sounded a little shady, but okay. Nah, I'm <laughs> Yvette, you done became one of the team, so yeah. they don't look at you as no... For sure. Yeah, like, that's, like, valuable, that's just Yvette. Valuable team member, for yeah, sure. Yeah, they were like, that's just Yvette. Yvette part of the team. 
Okay. So, Lex was right, though. She was like, the man be, like, messy. This li- this episode messy. That was real messy. This episode. <laughs> it's okay. When it, first of all, that had a lot of energy towards y'all. It was that, a little messy any, when he got listen, on the mic. Anytime Thad have his hair laid down in them fresh braids, <laughs> I know he going to be on his shit. Like, he going <laughs> to... I know how they know that when he, he he feeling himself. I'm chilling. I'm not doing nothing. When the motherfucker <laughs> fresh, I I know the nigga who braided his hair. I said one thing about it. It's not a nigga that braided my hair. I mean, it's not a nigga. I mean, I mean that cut your hair. That, that cut your hair. You get, he get it braided first, then go get it cut. Right. All you right, bet. <laughs> Event trimming. Yeah. Hey, that nigga that that don't know how to edit. He gonna edit this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when we come back, man, we got Kelly K Dub and Dre Nicole for our interview. We'll be back on Broken Play. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show love. Show some love. Best sports show in the nation, man. We still got Kelly K. Dub with us. We got special guests, man, from the poor minds. Just all over a great person. My dog, Dre Nicole, man. Y'all hey, clap it up for Dre Nicole. What's up, y'all? Yeah. That was a great intro. It had to be, man. I had your uh, had your homegirl on the uh, show last week. She yes, did real good. She did. I, we really surprised. wanted you, but we couldn't. You were busy. Not so. seen her be doing so my we, friend like But she did all right. She did all right. Now we got who we really wanted. We got who we really wanted. So <laughs> clap it up for Dre and Nicole. <laughs> you. you are childish. <laughs> hey, Dre, <laughs> you know about sports and shit anyway. I know a little something, something. So you know who won the finals? Yes, who? Denver. Mm. Denver won. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it like 98? They won, like it was like 98 What was points. the count? What, I think? The count. What the they count? went. Who, the count. What was it? 2-2, 3-2, 3-1. Oh, not see, I, um, <laughs> I don't know. So that was it. your first game watching last night? Of this year, yeah. This year? Of the whole year? <laughs> of the finals this year, yeah. That was my first finals game that I watched yeah. last night. Bad females could get away with that shit. Like, they don't even have the Niggas think they know them. Do you it's, know athletes? If you see an athlete, you know what he plays stuff. Like the major ones. <laughs> so there ain't gonna be no nigga coming off the bench. You like? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna know who that is. Would you talk to a nigga who come off the bench? No. <laughs> he saw her face when she made. The- hey, <laughs> she got serious. <laughs> I've right. been laughing all day. Try no, wow. that's a that's, that's, a, hell, be that's a hell of a accomplishment. Now, I mean, and that's cool. I mean, coming I'm sure he bench? is. A- <laughs> I'm sure he is a millionaire, Damn. but I'm not gonna talk to every nigga that's a millionaire just because he a millionaire. You gotta be playing. I, I feel like if I'm gonna talk to somebody in any profession, I want my nigga to be the best at it. I want Damn. him to be one of the best at it. I don't want the bench nigga. What are you the great at? Why you not good enough to play? You, if you ain't good enough to play, you ain't good enough to play with me. What do you think you the she, greatest? She got the greatest. Everybody at? ain't gonna start. What do you think you the greatest at? What do I at? think I'm the greatest at? I think I'm the greatest stand up comedian. I don't think mm-hmm. nobody could roast against me. I don't think you can find. I don't think you can pay a nigga that can beat me roasting. So who you think you better than? Where you think I can't pay him to be better than you at? I feel like just being myself. I feel oh, like that's. Shit. <laughs> God, hey, that's all women gotta do. <laughs> No, but <laughs> women don't ever have to really bring shit to the table. No, hey, but no, I'm just me. I'm not them other bitches. No, bitch, you got to do something too. No, but look, seriously though, I feel like me and my friend have literally built a brand on being ourselves. Thanks. And but so I feel like I'm on, just that's on a professional level. What are you doing in your relationship? That's what we talking about. He wasn't about. asking me about a relationship. I was asking you. It, it, it got to come back to the house some. <laughs> she know what that nigga leaving the house to go do. <laughs> you can't tell a nigga, no, me and my friend, we should be in I be leaving us. the house to do me. <laughs> Bitch, y'all smoking hookah. Y'all ain't being y'all yourself. <laughs> that's doing me, and I always come back with a check. <laughs> hey, well, that's all it's Have you important. ever talked to an athlete before? No. Oh. Why you saying it like that? Hey, we don't lie on this show. We'll switch your ass out. If you're going to start lying, we're going to switch you out. No, I have. Football or basketball? You probably talk about Both of them. 
Don't play with it. Don't, <laughs> hey, what I say? Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't, don't play, play with it. it. Come nah, on, baby. Real. So it had to be Michael Jordan or Tom Brady because they the best at them two they, sports. So. They are. They are the best. But you know, they were before my time. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, so it's LeBron and uh, Patrick Mahomes. Who was Le- LeBron oh. is married. I do not know who Patrick Mahomes is. No, damn. You probably the best with a bench player, Dre. Nah, I <laughs> never had a bench. It and was, you don't watch sports. It was. Oh, I'm telling you, it wasn't no bench player. Oh, okay. Player. So he was straight, but he was like, not straight. Hey, oh, damn. I got the all star. Hey, nigga, gonna have to start watching that. Nah, Dre will probably talk to that nigga right now. <laughs> nigga, be watching the game just to see who Dre would have talked to. Hell to the. All game. right, now that you was, can say this. Football different. Mm-hmm. Could you just say the position in football? Could I say the position they yeah, played? Yeah, in football. Uh, I think it was a wide receiver. And he had to be the best at it. I mean, he was pretty look good. Up some he numbers. retired now, though. Oh. He retired? Randy Moss. Randy Moss! <laughs> you <laughs> low-down, dirty motherfucker! Man. <laughs> don't tell me you. Don't tell no, me you was up there. No, De- not Randy. She Mons. was in Detroit with Megatron. Don't look. Calvin Johnson, Megatron. <laughs> y'all, it's not funny Detroit because y'all Megatron. are saying people. I don't even know who this right. is. What she did? Larry Fitzgerald. You low down, what? dirty. You low down, <laughs> you think dirty. I would fuck with a nigga named Larry. <laughs> what about what Larry about, Fitzgerald? Was good. What about Julio Jones? Would you fuck with a nigga named Julio? Bingo. No. That's it. No. It went Julio. It wasn't Julio. <laughs> Cause okay. Julio was running with the Migo. He was. He probably had some. They were like, boy, you got to get you some bad. Nigga, you going to be running up. <laughs> it wasn't Julio. Julio didn't. He was like, yeah, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 nigga, the nigga started panicking. <laughs> but you know, I don't like dealing with football players, though, because they be having CTE. Mm. And man, Lex said that like, was bad. Same last week. Yeah. No, them niggas really be crazy for real. I, be, they do, I, they be I, I agree. I got some football partners. I call them crazy. Yeah, I tripping. refer to them as crazy. That's CTE and I wa- and I critique real. them all the time. I be like, look at you, got mad. Mm. I always play with them. <laughs> yeah. I crack the joke on like one of my partners. Sometimes they brain just be wobbling up in there. Yeah, wobbling. Wobbling. Speaking yeah. of wobbling, did you see the uh Jocelyn <laughs> Hernandez? I, uh, we talked about the Floyd fight, but I know you probably were more captivated by the Jocelyn Hernandez fight. Who she who, who, who fighting big, backstage? Big Lex. Yeah. Big Lex. That was uh, I think that was the guy daughter. Nah. They were saying the daughter. They they were saying the that daughter. That was his daughter. They were saying the that's daughter. his daughter. Big that's what big, I was, big yeah, legs. I'm telling you. And they beefing. They been calling Yaya a uh, circus animal. Says she she <laughs> fucked the nigga with that twelve kids. That is not kids. nice. Why are they, they killing Floyd's daughter now? So why did Jocelyn Hernandez step in? I don't know, man. I want well, to be. I know is I would not want to be on the receiving end of Jocelyn Plenty because she got them things. She be beating hoes up. Jocelyn. She be dogging bitches. So yeah. technically, if we had to see Jocelyn Hernandez fight, who would y'all like? Just a random celebrity, who you want to see Jocelyn? Fight? That nigga that fought Ooh. Michael, uh, Michael B. Nigga. Jordan. Man, it can't be no nigga, man. What's his name? <laughs> it gotta be a nigga. That ain't no fair fight no damn woman. <laughs> Hell he no. said Jocelyn can't fight no one. Hell no, it gotta, gotta be a Jocelyn nigga, bro. Jocelyn got that super, superhuman strength, though. Hey, Jocelyn like, did. You seen her shoulders, bro? Yeah. Yes, I see. I hear y'all talking. I think Cardi B will go toe for no, toe with him. She, she know how to get mad, hey, but she yeah. not gonna go toe to toe, bro. Cause Cardi B will whoop your ass and get on your song. <laughs> She got on that song with Lotto. She said, put your best friend in the... Uh, and now I'm smoking her too. Smoke. I said, God damn, that bitch sexy. I love that type of confidence in a woman. <laughs> now, one thing you about talk Cardi, she don't slide on the track. Yeah, she gonna slide. Yeah, yeah she always gonna slide. slide on the track. But I don't know. I'm trying to think, who do I think Jocelyn could fight? Yeah. I think maybe her, her and uh, mm-hmm. Natalie... No. Natalie from Bad no. Girls Club. Natalie got a chin. She could take a punch, but she <laughs> that still ain't gonna... That's not going to protect that rib cage. Like, when <laughs> Jocelyn go to monkeying in that rib cage, them monkey blows, man. She beat up Steve. Prashawn. Oh. oh. Prashawn. Okay. Blue face baby mama, dog. She got to drop the baby first, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I like him I like fighting with the baby. <laughs> no. Oh, with that baby, she'll beat a bitch, ain't No. no y'all, she, she got to She'll swing she on somebody, drop but. the baby first. Then Jocelyn we still. can see them fight. <laughs> Jocelyn, no, bro. Jocelyn wouldn't give a fuck with a dog. Jocelyn still got that right there on the man. Yeah. So, wait a minute. But the crazy thing about Krishan is she probably would fight her with the baby. She'll fight her. Yeah, yeah, fact. Hell, I fight Pregnant two people too. All. <laughs> I fight Terry Crews. I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna lose, man. Jocelyn the fool, hey, bro. 
So, Drew, mm-hmm. who spent more money, the football or the basketball player? Basketball. I've realized that I think that football players be a little cheaper than basketball players. From, they play less games. And it, and also, too, from, like, things that, like, people that I know have told me. So probably because they, probably because they, is it a bad guaranteed. female group chat where y'all sit there and debate, like, he don't spend no money. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've had friends who have dated athletes, too, and that's been, like, the general consensus. I'm, like, football players don't spend as much money because, like I said, probably because they money not guaranteed. I don't think they that. I, hold think, on to I think it depends on the bitch. Yeah. I think it depends on the bitch. That could be true. That's too. all it is. Because you'll go borrow some money if the right bitch comes. <laughs> you will. You'll go get some. I, yeah. I ain't going to hey, lie. I niggas start that. playing better on Sunday. <laughs> hey, man, I need that contract extension, man. Come it's on with all... that shit. You tripping. I do agree with that. I'm I think it. that, and that's with any man, period. Yeah. I think oh, if yeah, a man okay. really like you, he'll he, spend he money. He gonna figure some One shit out. One girl could be talking about the same nigga. Y'all dated the same nigga. Yeah. And she like, he ain't spend no money. And you like, well, girl, I can't relate. Yeah, mm. definitely. Just depending on how much somebody like you. We are not That's the same. It. Hey, but sometimes, duh, I don't know, Jeez. can you contest this when you were like, you know, in high school and sometimes, mm-hmm. sometimes the athletes, like, they, they girls are like, be willing to talk to other niggas because the athletes be so focused on sports and they be like, like they be, I ain't gonna say the lame, be- but they out of touch. The best player mm. in my school, the best player in my school, and they gonna know who I'm talking about, the mm. best player in my school ran the fastest. I was fucking his girl. <laughs> I fucking his girl the whole time. Still talk to her. I hope you could run. I couldn't. I couldn't run. I ran from him one night. I came out that motherfucking house, and the nigga was outside the parents' house. How you stalk a bitch parents' house? The <laughs> girl about she about I'm I'm 17. She's 16, and goddamn he man he a younger than me. He was with her. And he nigga, pulled up and caught her. He ain't ran. He ain't pull up. I I heard the tapping at the window because she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he walked And so he tapping at her window because he knows somebody in there. So she snuck me out the back door and I jumped the fence. I shouldn't have jumped it. I should have just walked down the fence. Because mm-hmm. when I jumped it, it went ching, ching, ching. You know how the fence would do yeah. that? And yeah. they heard that shit. I was running and he was gaining. Man, I run. I was happy them dogs start chasing me because I started going a little faster from the dog. But he was behind the dog, dog behind me. Man, they ran my head all the way across the house. Hey, did, did he make it to huh? the league or anything? No, man. He, he kept playing. Man, I ain't finna describe it. He kept playing like all the way after high school. Mm-hmm. Mm. He kept playing. But he didn't make no pro or nothing. Oh, mm. so he played But in, in the college. school, he was the best motherfucker in there. He went to college. Yeah. And he played after that. Fucking the shit out of the gal. Tearing that puss up, <laughs> making U turns in that pussy. Okay. You did. You did. <laughs> that bitch put my nuts in a ponytail. You did. What? Uh, young bitch. Young professional bitch. You did. <laughs> and you still talk to her to this day, dog. Nuts in the ponytail. How you? How you? How you how I, I, I let you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how you get at it? Because I ain't never heard of that before. <laughs> until <laughs> until so you until you met her. Yeah, till till this bitch got a hold to me. Yeah. <laughs> That nigga crazy, Drew. He is. He's uh, going to feel me. I got good sense. Do you watch sense. WNBA? No. I'm just asking you. <laughs> Ain't I, no political correct question. I don't even know one WNBA player. That's probably bad. I probably shouldn't say that all out loud. But do you? Hey, I, but I also say that. don't really watch like the NBA. NBA. Yeah. You knew about the LSU girls, though, right? Yes. Now, nah, nah, they don't. I, I can't wait till they get in WNBA love. And she was from Dallas too. Shout out to Texas. Mm-hmm. The, a- Reese Angel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think she from Dallas. She, she from, from Dallas? Ma- she from Maryland. I thought she was from Dallas. Nah, she from Maryland. Oh yeah, Marcel know the stats. You can't trick him. Yeah. Oh well, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah. He know. probably spent See, some time in Dallas. Know. She mm-hmm. probably was in school in Dallas. The other uh, Flage, she from uh, Savannah. Savannah. Yeah. Nah, oh, they gonna be dope for years to come mm-hmm. though. Damn. Man, everybody been talking about this Terrence hey, Crawford fight. Where hey, you get Dallas from? Terrence Crawford. Oh, because one, I was going to say that because one of, my, one of my best friends, her little cousin, I mean, her little sister plays for uh, some school. She played college basketball, and she friends with her, and she from Dallas, and they be hanging out all the time. So I be like, oh, yeah. They got, they got airplanes now, Dre, so shit. <laughs> them folk, Dre, know what them she folk know. can link up. Dre, I know what she know. <laughs> I told y'all I don't know. No, that, that's cool though. So look, tell us this. Because mm-hmm. a lot of women watch the show and they just watch the show because they like the show. Right. But now that we got you on the show, can you tell women how to get a, a athlete? 
tell them ways to, it, it got to be in you, you think? Um, I don't even think that. I just think that um, niggas Ladies, listen up. Niggas be sliding in your DM and stuff. Like, oh, so, okay. I mean, that's... So it ain't no right place at the right time. I think that also happens, too. Mm-hmm. I think you could definitely be in the right place at the right time or at the right events if you know the right people. But a lot of the time, dudes just be sliding in your DM, at least back in the day. That's mm-hmm. how it was. So this was a while ago. But, um, yeah... Dudes be sliding in your DM, yeah, but the al- algorithm on Instagram is fucked up now. So, I mean, you ain't as visible. You can't be seen as much mm. as you used to could be back in the day. Gotcha. Mm. Just post a cute pic or go like a few pictures. I know people that do that. What, like a... Like, like they'll go like a nigga, a few of his old pics. Mm-hmm. From like 52 And that give ago. a sign. You know, let you know he feeling... I mean, you feeling him. You can't... Like, a nigga like me, you can't do shit to me. You say, oh, now you funny. Oh, I think you want to fuck. And you don't even want to. Well, I think if somebody go like some of your old pictures from like 50 weeks ago, it's the period they want to put. Ooh. Yeah, it's something to that. 50 yeah. weeks ago. 50 weeks ago. Because <laughs> you trying to be sneaky. But that let me know, bitch, you ain't got no job. What you mean? <laughs> to scroll 50 weeks? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, ain't nobody, ain't nobody looking for you to do shit right now. Nigga, man. that don't mean you got 50 weeks worth of pictures. <laughs> I got it a just means it's from 50 weeks ago. <laughs> Bitch, you scroll 50 weeks, bitch, I'm easy. You, you got too much time that. on your hand. Bitch, you can like my last pick and I think he want to fuck. You ain't got to go 50 weeks. I think people go do that, though, because they don't want people to see them being like thirsty. That's smart, too. So you you heard about the Zion Williamson shit? I did hear about that. Yes, I did. How you feel about... Now, this is the thing. When women kiss and tell and could like alter the man's career. Do mm-hmm. you think she's out of line? Who you blame most? Are you talking about the girl that he was dating? I thought she was going to be talking about the baby mama. You talking about the other girl oh, yeah. that he was the, messing with. The porn star. I think that she doing too much. Because at the end of the day, too, it's like if a nigga don't want to be with you no more, clearly he decided, you know, mm-hmm. who he was going to roll with. So I just feel like you look crazy on the internet dropping all these text messages and all of this personal shit. It's like that, that nigga gone. Let it go. I mean, gone and ugly. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Dub say that ain't one of the ugliest, uh, ugliest niggas in the league. No, I said in the world. I oh. mean, <laughs> I mean and then me also, so I just think it's something to be said for being like a 34-year-old woman on the internet crying over a 21-year-old. That's that nigga, crazy. Oh, that nigga ain't no 21. Yeah, you, no. Like, you like 21, 22? Yeah. Zion? Now, see, I knew I was right I about know. that. I might not have been right Why about that. Why that nigga look every bit of 28? You look like you were on full force in a house party. Man. That nigga had a hard ass life. For real. Yeah. I know why he's 21. <laughs> he's 21 or 22. You remember how them niggas used to look back in the day? 21, he got that type of shit. That type, that old man yeah. feel. He, he, look- he, he grew up next to a nuclear plant. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had been paying bills at 10. That's Ain't what, no that, way that, you that 21. That, that nigga was stressed out. He might food all his life, man. But yeah. Damn. Damn. I just think that's down bad, though. Like, you 34, you on the internet crying over a 21-year-old. Like, let it go. You don't know what that nigga done did to him. For real? I mean, it was definitely probably... I'm sure it was the money. How that nigga be dunking? Ain't no telling what he done did. That <laughs> like, you know... I, <laughs> and then, he, you know, he was with the porn star. Yeah. So we like... If you don't watch porn before, it don't matter if you think you the freakiest nigga in the world. It's sometimes like, damn, that nigga got her nigga. God damn. Yeah. Like, nigga, chill. You gonna kill that bitch. So, Zion In a full probably, nail scene. Yeah, Zion probably got the bitch choked up, dunking the bitch on his dick. You don't know what he doing. That bitch ain't never fucked no nigga with... Six nine two six, they run a four four. Like you don't know what that nigga done did. He probably threw her in that, threw her on the other side of the room, ran and caught that bitch on the dick. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't bounce off the backboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie hooped the pussy. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Goddamn Zion, you know. <laughs> he probably done put on top of the basketball rim, licking her pussy, man. She ain't never been in that and type of booty. shit. The bitch crying for and help the on the internet. And the booty. No. And the booty. Definitely in the booty. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just feel like as a woman, you when when do you when are we gonna start having pride again? Like you cannot have me on the internet crying over no nigga. I just feel like that's even if you gonna be crying over the nigga, cry in his text messages. Why are you bringing this to Twitter? What can we we can't get that nigga back? Maybe y'all hmm. could add him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Zion, don't do the bitch like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Give her one more shot. Oh damn, Zion. <laughs> Child, that was a mess. And she still, she I'm probably still going man. if I go look at her page right now. She she been going crazy. Too Every day. Shit. I'm happy for him, man. <laughs> what? Why are you him. happy for him? Tell, tell, nah, listen to him. Why are you happy for him? Because he ugly and <laughs> stuff like that don't happen to ugly people. I don't know bitches crying over. Nah, him. you tripping? Because it's a difference between being ugly and then being an ugly rich nigga. That's why I say he's still ugly. You put ugly in the front of rich. <laughs> still ugly. You can't take that. That shit don't change down though. Don't change. It got <laughs> but it don't matter. Girls don't be caring if I a nigga ugly if he got money. I'm just talking shit. Yeah. I'm just talking shit about him. It is what it is. I got on but he like, I don't give I a fuck. That nigga shit, ugly. I, I support anything that's fucked up. <laughs> anything hey, that's fucked up. I, I just <laughs> noticed your shirt. I thought it was LeBron. No, that's no, you you did, LeBron. no, you did not. I thought, no, that, you ja, I thought that was John Morant daddy. Well, boy, <laughs> don't crick it up a little bit. T. Morant. T. Morant. I'm just not realizing who that is. He whose name Do you think women care about fed. looks anymore, though? Yeah, no, never did. women ain't never shit, gave a shit about no look. No, look at Frederick Douglass. I think if Frederick a man Lowe's has money, old, women man. do not be caring about. Danny looks. Glover got so many hoes. Nigga don't give a fuck about. Well, you ain't seen Danny Glover with no hoes, man. <laughs> Danny Glover. <laughs> <laughs> she said they were cured about look. They ain't never gave a fuck about no. Danny look, Glover man. wasn't that Joy ugly Washington though in Carl his younger days. With, no, was that? George Washington Carl was that book? No, George Washington Carl was ugly as a motherfucker. They had plenty of them. They did the peanuts. <laughs> George, yeah, was a George Washington Carl was ugly. All right. <laughs> hey, but them were the first niggas who were getting their picture took too, though. Who that? Oh, the hoes was on them. Yeah, for sure. like George Washington Carl, yeah. Booker T. Washington. I meant Washington, Washington, Frederick Douglass. Like niggas went having pictures out. Yeah. So when we see you on a the picture, they automatically think, Oh, oh can I get your autograph? Yeah. Frederick fought a year before them. They all in the early 1900, 1909, mm-hmm. and all that. Freddie in the 1860s. Oh, it wasn't Freddie okay with Harry. Freddie with Harry. They were still doing Freddie portraits. Uh-huh. <laughs> they were portraits. They drew, they drew Freddie. They you, you were know, still drawing You know, Freddy. hey, you knew you was a nigga of stature if you got that long to sit down for a motherfucker to draw you. And you had to stay in the same position. Yeah, you ain't got nowhere to be. Oh, I ain't no house slave. I ain't no field slave, bitch. I'm me. I'm Freddie. I'm Freddie D. <laughs> Freddie D. Freddie nigga D is wild. <laughs> nigga, I nicknamed himself Freddie D, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie motherfucking D. <laughs> Freddie, goddamn it, D in this bitch. <laughs> Freddie D, dog. Oh my god. Dude, who was some of your favorite players growing up? I know you said Michael Joy was one of them, but who a player that, yeah, like who a player that people don't give a lot of recognition to that you was like, nah, that nigga was dope. Reggie White, Art Monk for the Redskins, goddamn, uh, shit, that's a uh, football, who else in football? <laughs> uh, basketball, motherfucker, like, well, you know Isaiah, I think they don't give him enough credit. He would be who, Isaiah Ryder? Isaiah Thomas. Thomas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, he'd be Magic and Who Jordan. Who is Isaiah Robbins? Ryder. Ryder. Isaiah Ryder. No, Isaiah Ryder. Drink. He got a little, yeah, he got drink a, and go yeah. play basketball, yeah, he, he nigga. Got, I like got, players like that. He got some shit. Penny Hardaway. Yo, Penny was dope. Yeah. Uh, shit. Mm-hmm. Wayne Gretzky. They don't say his name a lot. Shit. In hockey? Just talking shit. <laughs> no, I don't know. Nigga. That's about it. I used to, in no football, I used to players. like Dante Cole Pepper. Cole Pepper. Dante. And he Cole played with Pepper. the Vikings. That nigga was. Let me Google him. Yeah. Cole so, Trey, you never watch sports with your with your dad and your uncle or nothing like that? Yeah, I used to watch sports with my dad. But you wouldn't know what's going on. Not really. My dad used to bet a lot, too. Like, he used to play, like, the little... He Tell had, him to get on prize picks. He used to play the books, huh? Prize picks. Who, my so, dad? Yeah. I mean... Used to oh, yeah. <laughs> they got one in heaven. <laughs> now I'm trying to promote the... Damn, damn I'm trying... I'm just trying, trying to promote the sponsor, Dre. That damn... I apologize, man. Now I went down to the funeral handing out flyers. <laughs> <laughs> now I promote the shit out of Brad. Damn, pit. read the room, Brad man. Pit. My bad, Drew. It's okay. But no, no, but your uh biological father. Oh yeah, I could tell him yeah. to get on prize picks for sure. But yeah, I mean, of course, I used to watch sports with my dad. Like I remember some of the players and stuff, you know, like Deion Sanders. They be knowing Deion. Deion was a cold motherfucker. No, it was another dude too, Lawrence Taylor. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Legend. You know some shit. Yeah. I remember like a few little players here. Yeah, there. that was two. That was I said a few. <laughs> yeah, a few is two. Name name a basketball <laughs> player. 
<laughs> an old school basketball no, player? No, just anybody. You... I was going to say Hakeem Olajuwon. Yeah, you the know, dream. I Houston, then he used to play for the Rockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he do the, yeah. Yeah, do the shake, the shit. Y'all yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. mean. Oh, you know all the Houston players. <laughs> yeah, they play for Houston. She know that shit. It was y'all mean. That who you used to talk to. We don't figure that shit out. Figure that motherfucking shit out. It was y'all mean. Hell no. He, that she was that nigga stopped playing. Yeah, she said he was, yeah, the, be, he was the, the best, best at the time. He the best. Hell the tallest man. Are y'all serious? When y'all mean was playing basketball, I was in fucking middle school. Damn, y'all mean you dirty motherfucker. You dirty motherfucker. You the fuck did. Some told me where this R. Kelly shirt. Some told me where it. I knew it was going to be some shit. Some told me put it on. Y'all fucking play. Y'all That's mean. why they sent him okay. back to China. That's why they shit. Drill Jill was real. She didn't make all the allegations of course, come out. Kobe, real nigga, Shaq. Oh, yeah. Kobe, Shaq. Yeah. Okay. Know some mm. shit. I know some people right do you, do you, now. Now that you're in Atlanta, do you, you know go Vernon to any Maxwell? Hawks game? Do I know who? Vernon Maxwell. I don't know who he played for. Houston. He was the MVP. Really? Yeah. Okay. Damn, they, they, yeah, they uh, won the finals. He won the MVP? Randy Maxwell was the, he was the man on that I team. never knew that. I thought Hakeem won both of them. I don't think Hakeem won. He used to I have a restaurant Google. in what Houston that everybody used to Who, go Hakeem? to. Who, Hakeem? I don't think that's right. Let me, let me, let me, let me pull it up. I'm telling you what I know now. He's seen it, though. You know, I don't know. I'm telling you, I was no, there. Look that up. I, we, I'm going back to it. We got a whole dice on that. What you got a whole dice? Burning Max. Well, I'm in- googling all these people. I'm already. Damn, I picked the wrong one. Do you do you go to Hawks games, Ray? I've been to a few. Who you like on the Hawks? Oh, uh, Hakeem. Hakeem right uh, uh, got it first year. We got it both of you. I told you, man. Burning no was the star though. He still was the Vernon star. Was going he was going crazy. He was going crazy. Hey, Drew, check this out. This I'm glad what they I made. I'm glad I ain't Shout out to like Frico. that. I look a little more intelligent. He made that, that about Zion okay. Williams. Fixed him a goddamn self. Booty talk. <laughs> this is crazy. Have you seen this? Yes, that shit is hilarious. So what? What Not you made in Brazil? <laughs> what What advice would you give that uh, that young lady, Mariah? What's up, Mariah Mills? Yeah, old, old lady. Oh yeah, like 33, old lady. 34. <laughs> he said old. Nah, how she older. acting? That's a young lady. When somebody done did you I, like that, that's a, yeah. I don't think 34 is old. I think that this is what I will say, okay. which is why I think that the internet was going in on her. I think it's old in like whole years. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I think it's, I, I'm going to tell you what <laughs> like I Like if you still out here hoeing, it's kind of old. And I, that's probably why she was like crying. So what's the eight, I mean, what, what? All right, I'm, if I'm thinking sports. You're not a spring chicken no more. Like, at 30, I feel like at 34, especially, like, younger guys like that, like, if you're trying to get you an athlete, an NBA player, yeah. whatever the case may be. You're supposed to be already got your match contract. I think, I think at 34, and especially, like, you know, yeah, I think that they going for, like, the younger girls at, that, at yeah, this I think point. You're, you're and I can say that, honestly, as somebody that's 30. You look, you look a little desperate, 34. With a 21 year old. Yeah, it yeah, nice. it do. But I mean, that's became a trend lately, though. I know y'all been seeing that. It's been like a trend lately. A lot of like Instagram models and women on Instagram that are popular have been dating like younger athletes lately. Like women in their 30s been going after like the 22, 23 year old basketball, football players. Because you got to think them niggas young. They, they green. Never, yeah, they yeah. green. And so I feel like with this situation, you know, it's just an unfortunate situation because I feel like, you know, this probably she I'm probably felt like I got me one and then she lost. Shit, she me. did have one. Yeah. He would make sure she was straight. Yeah, man. Niggas be saying they won't trick. I feel like they don't know what tricking is. What you think? What is tricking to you? What is tricking to me? Mm-hmm. If like I give you this money directly, I want just for sex. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that that's that's what tricking that's paying is. Paying for pussy. Yeah, that's but these niggas like, they're yeah. not that's that's prostitution. Yeah. But no, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> these niggas not just paying for sex; they paying for companionship. Yeah. You can see the tweets and the texts. How she nigga, you was going out eating crawfish with the bitch and all that. Nigga, mm. you went. Nigga, you were paying for dates. She was, yeah. showing, she was showing the receipts, like the wire transfers. Like, yeah. he said $22,000 and the wire fee was $15. I'm like, I want to bank over there because that's kind of, that's cheap. Right. Yeah. No, nah, that's cash Where he out. banking? Ca- <laughs> ca- cash out ain't going to never charge you more than $15. It don't no matter what you send. You really? can look that up, cash out. For real? Yeah. No, nah, I'm just trying to get them to be a sponsor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. I mean, I don't think. I guess I could see how you could feel like that's paying for companionship. But I also just feel like a lot of the time, once dudes have a certain level of money, I just think that they don't even be thinking about spending it. 
Hey, it's only so many times I'm a wire transfer black like, bitch. I ain't fucked you all year. What? <laughs> yeah, not that I'm looking for, it, but damn, bitch. I, but what I, if y'all was fucking? I, I would say, man, I don't, I don't really call it tricking. I don't, I don't know what money is for if it ain't for you to spend with the motherfucker you beside. Right. You know what I mean? Amen. So, I don't give a fuck if he like it. I love it. Spend that shit. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? Find you somebody good to spend it with. If that, if if that's. I don't call it tricking though. This is yeah. what I'm saying. So, for instance, if I'm in the league, mm-hmm. I've got I got all this money, you, baby. You don't have to sit and chill with me. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to fly to New Orleans. Mm-hmm. I catch you when I catch you. Mm-hmm. I'm not just gonna be spending it on you. I'm tricking in every city. <laughs> no, not every. I look. <laughs> I look at my schedule as soon as they hand that shit out on the first game. Uh huh. All right, I got to start working on Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. I'm not looking at the players we going against. I'm I'm setting my shit up. Mm-hmm. When I land, I got Keisha. I couldn't do that. <laughs> you couldn't trick like that? Fuck no. I couldn't give my body out that much. Nigga, hell no. I'm a, I, If anything, I'm going to have the same motherfucker with me through every city. Then maybe it come back next time. I might have another one. But I'm damn Oh, you sure. a switch him out. I'm, damn, not gonna I'm damn sure not fucking no three, four bitches. You a bitch? Hell no, nigga. Yeah. Fuck, hey, fuck you think I am magic? That Jones shit you said about Zion, nigga, that's what us ugly niggas are supposed to do. I'm saying fuck a hoe. Fuck this bitch. Fuck the shit out of her. Let the text message, all that. Get you, fuck her. Fuck two more. But mm, I, ain't, yeah. don't, I ain't say city to city. But that guy that thought it fucked the shit out of her. That's how niggas be running through their bread, though. What, city to city? Just, yeah, having mad bitches and spending mad that money on crazy. all of them. I agree. I feel like you should have one. But I, I would have I one. I think I'm year. so but, studious. It wouldn't yeah. be like. It wouldn't be no set price with me, dog. It like we'll sit down and negotiate. Just like, just like, I'm just saying. I, I'm looking straight ahead. I keep everybody involved. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, just how I negotiated my contract, you uh-huh. gonna negotiate yours. So <laughs> right. sit down, like. So uh, I was last year for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who do you fuck with in the league? I fuck with. Damn, bitch. I usually don't fuck out the uh, D'Angelo Russell. Um, <laughs> you really think they would tell you that? Oh, they know. <laughs> Niggas know. One thing about D'Angelo Russell, he'll tell you. What? <laughs> he snitched on Nick Young. He did? Yeah. Now I know who Nick Young is. He was fucking with uh, who? Uh, Iggy. Yeah. The nigga recorded uh, some shit mm-hmm. and sent it to it because he was just talking about women and he sent it out. Mm. Yeah, little lame man, Russell. Yeah, that's lame. That's yeah, real lame. Yeah, Nigga tripping. Man, he was like he was young then. What you call it? Dirty making? He was dirty making. So, that what they call so it? So it's Kobe Lane. So it's Kobe Lane. <laughs> For what he did with Shaq? Yeah. Definitely. Lane. Yeah, definitely. What did Kobe do? He told he, he he straight up told on Shaq. <laughs> he did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is some tea. Rest in peace, lame ass Kobe. You got some shit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no. Man, I don't want no Bleed part. that out. <laughs> <laughs> that shit crazy. <laughs> that nigga posthumously lame, man. That a bitch. Hey. So now if you was a uh like if you was an athlete, would you make girls sign NDAs? Nah. No. Bitch, tell somebody you fucking me. I don't give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just don't let it get back to my wife. <laughs> but that's the purpose of an NDA. Yeah. So it don't tell, get back to your you wife. You tell everybody but my wife. <laughs> if my wife call you, oh no, that's just for publicity. I'm trying to get on a reality <laughs> show. <laughs> Cause I, like, bro, people don't realize as like just like figures and people, just period. Like, whether you you know how people like think of their information so undisclosed, mm-hmm. it's gonna come out regardless. Somebody know. Mm-hmm. Like somebody know. Yeah. So it's just like you you I, I say this. When you dealing with a woman or you dealing with a man, you know what type of person that, that person is. You have, you see how sometimes we always be talking about women be hurt. When niggas be hurt, you can tell too. Yeah. When they they post them little memes consecutive, like nigga, man, what bitch done did something? Nothing but the bros. Don't trust D Bay, man. Yeah. You could definitely tell. Yeah, nigga I got hurt. And she don't care. She still about to yeah, go she, fuck with that nigga. She happy. That's what if a bitch done did you wrong and you get on Instagram and see her with hookah at brunch, as a nigga, that, that shit just started like, damn, this bitch, this ain't stopping. That don't mean yeah. nothing. She saw, she drowning her sorrows in the hookah, in the drink. Let's go! 
<laughs> if she say pussy pink, booty hole brown, she don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's the song of the summer. You look at that story, see that hookah blowing, that fuck your baby. Pound yeah, when that hookah blowing ain't a dub, she ain't giving a fuck. Damn. That's like, true. I mean, I guess that's kind of true. I don't know. Nah, man, I appreciate y'all pulling up on me, man. We just, that's that what the show about, man. We just, we, we just talk sports, talking, but we don't talk sports. Shit. Yeah, we just kick shit on them motherfucker, And we talk that shit that they want to hear. Mm-hmm. See, this is what a lot of people, see, Drill, this is where you and Let's going to excel. Because mm-hmm. I be watching them other sports shows. They be having women on there, but them bitches don't talk about shit. They don't be saying nothing? They don't be saying nothing. They say what them niggas tell them to say. I let, mm. hey, no, nah, not on this. Yeah, no. Nah. I want the black woman to be able to speak her mind mm-hmm. and speak her facts. And that's why we do this, for the black women. Amen. Hmm. Now, nah, I'm just saying women. that shit for the viewers. Don't ever believe that shit. That right. was for the camera. I knew your ass was lying. <laughs> I know was, you. This shit was prize picks. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, all jokes aside, man. But no, nah, that's why we start having like you know women come on the show. Cause mm-hmm. women be fucking with the show. Yeah. They don't be knowing a lot about sports, and that's what you on the show saying. You don't know a lot about sports, but you I don't know. win no, a lot of sporting events, ain't you? I done been to all of them. What's the biggest sport event you done been to? The biggest? Like, have you ever been to a Super Bowl? I've never been to a Super Bowl. Okay, you ever been? I've to- been to All Star to the All Star game. That's that which, top tier. Which, which one? You the one in New York, uh, Madison Square Garden. Oh, 2015? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That nigga, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You are so... Pull them stats up. We got to see who was on the team in 2015. We going to find out, Drea. Oh we going to find out. Oh, y'all night. Oh, my And when God. we catch you, you dead to rights. Mm-mm, y'all we're, not going to We going to bring him on the show. Yeah, we going to bring him on the show. So, Drea said you really went and spinning. And now going to ask me to come back, and I'm going to walk in the room like, hold the fuck up. Nah, Drea would never be out there uncomfortable. She'd be like, oh, nigga. <laughs> not nice you, to see you again. Not you came to my brother's show. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a bitch. Hey, bitch will turn that shit on you. Not you stalking a bitch. Bitch, he invited me to this shit. <laughs> Not you stalking me. How did you find me? No, nah, but all those side though, like I think like with women, when you see, if you watching the game, them first two rows dub, mm-hmm. some of the finest women you'll see, boy. Oh, know. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I already know. Y'all already know. I be looking all the time. It's an ugly nigga got him over there. Always ugly, nigga. Do you do you watch? Hey, do either one of y'all watch Winning Time? No, I what's seen that? It. You seen that? Yes. It's uh, it's about like when Magic Johnson oh, was playing. Oh, you were telling me about that show before? I haven't watched. Yeah, it. Yeah. Now, acting wise, it got some real like good actors on there, good actresses, and all that. It's mm-hmm. good storyline. It's you know based on uh, real uh, events and real facts. Mm-hmm. But bro, they had Magic Johnson like that's all he was doing, dog. Eating that pussy. <laughs> no, like just being with women. No, he definitely Bro. was eating pussy. He ate pussy out of 10 episodes. He ate pussy on 11 of them. <laughs> yes. They had him eating that pussy. The team told him, stay away from around the pimp. He went and found that pimp. Ate all that pimp's pussy. Oh, pussy. my God. Not ate all that pimp's No, pussy. no. Real talk, Dre. They have him. They'll cut to a scene and he just doing it. Yeah, he be eating some pussy. And winning time? Yeah, that man, watch that man will tell his mama, I'll be back and go eat some pussy in the car <laughs> and come back and eat dinner. I promise you. Watch that shit. After church. After church. After, he was doing it on yeah. church grounds, all yeah. that. He was so, the move, so the show itself is about Magic Johnson. No, no, it's, it's about the Lakers. It's about, oh, it's the, about Lakers. the Lakers. And Magic eating pussy. <laughs> Starring Magic Johnson. Hey. Hey. They hey. show Magic shoot a shot before that goddamn shot dropped. That nigga eating pussy. pussy. <laughs> she, Magic that nigga Dub, me and Dub were talking about the show. Dub said he didn't see them play a basketball game to episode six. He said before hey, that, man. Magic Johnson oh, just was eating pussy. pussy. <laughs> that nigga was eating pussy. When he graduated, man. Dub, what he All did. All the way through that national championship, he was eating pussy up there at <laughs> motherfucking Michigan. He uh-uh. ate pussy from Michigan to LA, man. And we Magic know. Johnson. <laughs> I don't see how he got a bitch pregnant all the pussy he ate, man. I don't know. I don't know how he get some kids. How the fuck he get some kids? Now he was being a lint leaker. Shit. Irvin Pussy Eating Johnson. Man, boy, y'all crazy. Pussy Eating Johnson. Man, I appreciate y'all pulling. Y'all got anything to shout out for y'all leave, man? Hey, follow me. Call it in. Me and K-Dub. 23. 23? Why you put the 23? Oh, you said you did like Michael Joy. 
No, nah, two and a three, because they took my page one time. And they <laughs> <laughs> not you done lost your page yeah. 22 times. <laughs> so many damn times, man. God damn. That nigga said, comedian came to 23. Bro, I'm yeah, thinking you that. like Michael Jordan or LeBron. That's <laughs> what I was thinking, too. Mm, comedian K Dell 23. Aiden took my motherfucking page. I go get it back. I get it back. And I resend that same dick pic <laughs> took my page for in the first place. Sent that dick pic, <laughs> my pay was gone. Fixed another pay, sent the dick pic again. Why are you sending the same one? Because that was the best one I got. I had to <laughs> grease it up, put the blow dryer on it, and that's the one shot I got. I sent the same hey. Blow dryer? Blow dryer. Make it gloss a little bit there. <laughs> make the hair stand straight up on it like, like a uni- it look like, more like a unicorn, like a... I don't know. Just give it that. Hey, man, look. shut the fuck up. You're the worst in dick pig. Yeah, I sent that motherfucker, man. Sent that I never heard of that. I've never heard of that. Yes. Okay. Dick All right, Dre, man, what you want to promote, man? <laughs> you know, I just want to promote something simple. All right, what you, you got? <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at Dre and Nicole with three E's. Of course, you know, follow Poor Minds. That's P-O-U-R underscore M-I-N-D-S. And, you know, make sure you watch the show. And I also have a lip gloss line Tell called about Muse it. Beauty Collection. And you can, you know, go to MuseBeautyCollection.com and get you some lip gloss and some lip liners. And I got matte liquid lipsticks. And, yeah, that's what I got on right now. Go For sure. Some. Man, this has been another episode of Pro- hey, Broken Play, man. Hey, don't forget, and don't forget, oh, for sure. don't forget that apartment's coming out soon, man. Oh the man, apartments. yeah, we department yeah, departments. departments. You know, hey, one of the best moves is gonna goddamn hit the hit the nation for a long time. Ooh, I can't hey, wait man. to see this. There's a, a lot of us in there, man. Yeah, okay. Nav Green, DC Young Fly, mm-hmm. Carlos Miller. Erica Duchess, Lil Duval, Tyler, Ronnie Jordan. That's so many people in the Oh, movie, yeah. Man. That's going to be real. Yeah, they got Tokyo Jets, Tokyo Vanity. Yeah. Hey, I oh, said it right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Tokyo mm-hmm. Vanity. Yeah. And, uh, Zoe in there. Zoe. Yeah, I am Zoe. Yeah. You got to eat a banana in that motherfucking movie. Oh, man. yeah. Zoe. Hey, man, that's it, man. Fucking <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Broken Play. Catch y'all next week. <laughs>